Good afternoon. I have no idea what video this is going to go in, but it's a really random uh, side trip to the architectural salvage Quit place. Quit giving them layman terms. What? Quit giving them layman's terms. What do you mean? Oh, I have to show you the sign. I was really confused. Apparently it's called layman's. Matt is really goofy. But hey, check out this old school Sprinter. That's a 2500 Sprinter when Dodge still made them. Because do you see the rams on the tires? I don't know how much this zooms in, but yeah. Hey, look at that. Cool. We're in the right place. Interesting. <laughs> uh, Matt had never been to a salvage yard before. I just uh, apparently grew up in a different realm than him and my dad used to drag me to places like that all the time. So it smells like my childhood there. And uh, we were really close to buying that sink, but the guy wanted 70 bucks for that sink, which I'm pretty sure I could order on Amazon for like the same price and it would have the fittings. So. Like, if you get to the right salvage yard, then a lot of times you can find good pieces for really uh, affordable prices, but that guy just seemed, I don't know, it, it just didn't have a good energy, so we walked through it and we looked at everything and got super overwhelmed, <laughs> uh, but probably not going to go back. So next, we found a place that's called a mobile Home Depot, which I thought was like I don't know. First I wondered if it was a Home Depot for phones. That obviously doesn't make sense. Then I thought maybe it was just like a pop-up store, Home Depot, like being kind of like trendy, you know? That's obviously not something Home Depot does. <laughs> and then I realized I was reading it wrong and it's a mobile home depot. Hey, and look, we're making a mobile home, just millennial version. So uh, we're going to check it out and see what they got. We're going to the Mobile Home Depot! Woo! <laughs> I, I can't hold it together right now because the last two places that we have gone have had like adult store, like, uh, oh, like wholesale goods? Is that what it's called? It's really weird. <laughs> There's one next to this place too, so, uh, I don't know why those two seem to be connected, but I don't know. So far, look, it seems safe. The last place might have been a little more creepy, but hopefully this place is okay. <laughs> Craigslist. This is actually my first thing I ever bought on Craigslist. I 
pretty excited. He seems legit. Apparently he flips houses or something like that. So we found a stainless steel sink that's like the perfect size for our van. And yeah, um, I'm pretty excited. The only downside right now is that it smells like poop in here. What have you been doing this week, Matt? Can you please explain why the van smells like manure? Because I bought plywood from Home Depot. Why would it smell so bad? I, these are questions I can't answer. Oh my gosh. So, oh yeah, I haven't actually picked a video over this yet. But those Matt made last week and uh, yeah, for some reason they smell awful. So we stopped to get some coffee on the way to getting our sink and this place is one of our favorites. We haven't been in like ages since we moved to the other side of the peninsula and look at how busy it is. Oh my goodness, there's so many people there right now. Ah! But it's really cool inside. I hope that Matt gets some b-roll because they decorate the inside with like a lot of like wood elements um yeah it's pretty cool but i'm having some social anxiety so i asked him to go in and pick it up for us so we can get back on the road so fingers crossed that he shows you how cool it is inside <laughs> We ended up paying 20 bucks because it came with the hoses, which are normally like seven bucks apparently. And hey, it has the faucet, so $20 for that sink. Nice. coffee shop so I figured I would show share it um, only because I feel like the van conversion has a lot to do with steps that Matt and I took like years ago now and we found this coffee shop probably about a year ago yeah and at the time uh, Matt and I were living in our sailboat, so that's a whole other story, I'll have to tell it some other time, but we were living in our sailboats, living a very minimalistic life, and I really wasn't like loving it. And I decided after a long time of like soul searching that I wanted to move back to land, which was a little bit crushing because I had totally bought into being like boat life person and I realized that I was not happy anymore on my boat so I decided okay I want to move back to land I want to have a little more space I had two cats at the time that was really crammed and uh, he and I were thinking about moving in together so we decided that we wanted to move off our boat but if you know anything about living on a boat it's like super cheap so uh, I decided that I wanted to move to land and I thought it was crazy because I had really downsized my whole life, my work, my belongings, everything. And then I had to go back <laughs> to something bigger. So I had to like find more jobs, find more income and like find furniture. Like so many things were in that process. And in that time period, I decided I just wanted to really set clear intentions of where I wanted to be that I thought would be better fit for me at the time and I found this apartment in uh, Pasadena which is like 
a beach town tour around St. Pete area of Florida. And I, I loved it. I just like felt totally my style and I wanted to move there. The only problem was it was like, I would have to triple my income to move there. So I went to work and figured out like any and every way that I could get there. Um, I didn't really have a plan. I just believed I could do it. And I knew that I would do whatever it took to get to where I wanted. And so in the process of finding like new work to get to that point, uh, I just like to immerse myself in the areas that I'm interested in because I know that it will give us connections and it'll help us with our momentum towards that goal. So Matt and I would just come out to Pasadena and we actually used to like hang out not not often. We went one time and just like walked around the apartment area that I wanted to move to and like hung out in the hammocks and it was like a little date that we had and it was great and it really helped me believe that I could do it. And this coffee shop, um, Craft Cafe, is actually like in the neighborhood and I was working at a uh, craft, I was working at a third wave coffee shop at the time so I was learning a lot about coffee and tea and all sorts of stuff and decided that I wanted, well, not decided, sorry, people are staring at me in front of me and I'm talking to my phone, <laughs> so it's really awkward, <laughs> but uh, so I, I was really into coffee and so was Matt and we wanted to like find other cool coffee shops around the city, so we found this one and we would just regularly come to this one to like pull our energy towards the direction that we wanted to go. And then there's a really awesome uh, organic grocery store next to it. I don't know if you can see it. Nope, I don't have windows in that direction. It's called Earth Origins and uh, we loved it. We would go there every week. Unfortunately, it's a bit too far for us now. But we would go to, to that grocery store like every week and it really helped get us out of the boat and into a land-based home. Long story short, sorry, I'm horrible at summarizing. Um, we didn't move to this area. Instead, in the process of me finding a different job, a new work, and determining like what kind of uh, apartment that we would want and everything like that, I actually had moved a lot of my belongings off of my boat into a storage unit in this area because I wanted to move here so bad that I decided like to start moving and just trusting that it it would happen. I just knew I was going to make it happen and I could afford the storage unit. I couldn't afford the rent. So I figured like go ahead and start where I can. So I did that and in that process. I found a work with an Airbnb host that I had stayed at when I was like testing out land life for a little bit and he needed a property manager so I actually started doing that which doubled my income that I needed to get towards where I wanted and he happened to have a unit that his mom was staying in that she was moving back to Colorado and I was able to move there for a discounted rate so like much more affordable and we ended up moving there and it was by no means what I dreamt of um, it had a really beautiful entrance and it was the perf it was plenty of space but like it wasn't like the bougie apartment that I had thought I was going to get that whole time but it was exactly what we needed at the time it was like two blocks away from one of the jobs that I was working so I didn't actually have to quit that job and then it was like just a few other blocks away from this Airbnb I was managing um, so yeah and then we would still come out here to get coffee and to grocery shop but we ended up somewhere that we couldn't have even imagined had I not started moving myself into a, a storage unit that I didn't really have a reason to do. So the reason I'm sharing this is because that's what we did with our van too. So we've had two steps between then. So we moved to our first apartment and then I uh, got an even more prestigious job 
and it was far enough away that I decided that I wanted to get a nicer apartment and something a little more fit to our personality and our um, our needs of quiet space because the first one was on a super busy road and it was like living on a racetrack uh, so now the place we stay at as you've seen in some of the videos it's got a nice quiet lake and stuff um, but now we're manifesting this move in we're not probably going to live in the van I don't think we're gonna buy a house once we take the van up to an area that we want to live but every time we do it we just find ways to immerse ourselves in things that we love and it helps us get there so before we bought this van we also uh, we would just stop at parking lots where we saw vans that were types that we were interested in and we would just park beside them and like walk around and like get an idea of how big they were like if we really wanted like an extended size or if we wanted a short size um, this is a 100 159 inch wheelbase uh, the ProMasters come in 136 also and then there's an extended I think it's 172 um, I think if we were gonna live in it I would definitely go with a 172 but since we think we're just gonna use it for road trips um, and pretty much we're using it to replace our tiny house rentals when we would go on adventures so that we can just stay wherever versus having to find a place to rent um, so the 159 inch was like perfect and we could visualize it by just going to random parking lots and parking beside them and feeling them out um, we did other things too I really can't remember off the top of my head but this just was a spurred on little monologue hopefully I haven't lost you or hopefully you found some sort of inspiration from this because I feel if you know you want to do something you know what you want and you feel like it's totally like where your heart is wanting to go just find little things that you can do and start doing them as if like you are already on your way to the thing that you want even though you don't really know how to get there and it will start to become more clear I feel like by doing that we discover a lot of answers and a lot of times we discover things that we thought we want aren't actually what we really want and instead we find what like the best thing for us is at the moment kind of like we thought we wanted to live in Pasadena and then we didn't we lived in Kenwood which is a totally different vibe and now we live in a totally different area and we're heading for another different area everything's always changing we're gonna always want something new and I, t I embrace that I live my life on change and when I feel stagnant usually something's wrong so that's it okay this might be its own video of itself because it's an 11 minute chat let me know like how you make your visions or how what actions you take to get to where you want for things that you set your intentions to share with me in the comments Bye -bye.